So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to find the equation of a plane passing through a point and perpendicular to a vector. So first of all, let's try to derive the scalar equation of a plane. So we start by drawing the three-dimensional plane. We have this to be the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis, and this to be the origin. Now let's assume that we have a plane around this region, and then we have a point, say p naught, on the plane. And then we also have a vector, say n, which is orthogonal or perpendicular to the plane. Now we call this vector the normal vector. Now assuming that we specify another point, an arbitrary point, let's say P, on the plane, then we can define two position vectors, R0 and then R, which are position vectors of P0 and then P. So starting from the origin to P0, starting from the origin to P0, we have the position vector r naught, and then from the origin to p we have the position vector r now the vector from p naught to p let's call that r minus r naught now since the normal vector is perpendicular to every point on the plane what this primarily means is that the normal vector n is also perpendicular to the vector r minus r naught, and thus the dot product of two perpendicular vectors or the dot product of two orthogonal vectors is equal to zero. So we have the dot product of n and the vector r minus r naught to be equal to zero. Now, we call this the vector equation of a plane. So this is the vector equation, vector equation of a plane. Now let's assume that we have the position vector r naught, which is as a result of the point p naught having components x naught, y naught, z naught and the vector r also having components x, y, z with the normal vector n having components a, b, c from the vector equation of a plane we can try to find the dot products of the two vectors so that we have a, b, c, dot. Now, for r minus r naught, for r minus r naught, we are going to have, for the first component, x minus x naught. Second, we have y minus y naught. And then third, we have z minus z naught equals zero. So let's try to simplify. Now, we want to find the dot product of these two vectors. So what we do is, we are basically going to multiply corresponding components and then we add them up. So we have a times x minus x naught. So a times x minus x naught plus b times y minus y naught plus c times z minus z naught equals zero. Now we call this the scalar equation the scalar equation of a plane so this is the scalar scalar equation of a plane of a plane passing through passing through the point p naught which is given by x naught, y naught, z naught with normal vector with normal vector n which is also given by the components a, b, c 
so this is the scalar equation of a plane passing through the point p naught and then which has a normal vector n so having understood this we are going to use this equation to find the equation of the plane passing through the point so this is p naught and perpendicular to the vector so this becomes the vector n the normal vector so let's do that together so we have p naught 5 3 5 and then we have the normal vector having components 2 1 negative 1 so let's try to find the scalar equation of the plane so we have a now this is a this is b and then this is c and this is x naught y naught z naught so for a for a we have 2 into bracket x minus x naught is 5 plus b which is 1 into bracket y minus y naught is 3 plus c so that is negative 1 times z minus z naught is 5 equals 0 so let's multiply across so we have we are going to multiply 2 across that becomes 2x minus 10 plus we multiply 1 across we have y minus 3 we multiply negative 1 across we have negative z plus 5 equals 0 so next we have 2x plus y minus z and then we have negative 10 minus 3 is negative 13 and then plus 5 we have negative 8 equals 0 and then we can represent this as 2x plus y minus z we transpose negative 8 to the right hand side we have plus 8 so this is called the cartesian vector equation of a plane in the normal form and this is basically a linear equation in terms of x y and z so this is the equation of the plane passing through the point p naught and then having a normal vector n which has components 2 1 negative 1 now the next thing is to find the x intercept so to find the x intercept what this basically means is that we are going to let y and then z be equal to zero so to find the x intercept y and then z is equal to zero so from this equation from this equation we have 2x plus 0 minus 0 equals 8 this becomes 2x equals 8 we divide through by 2 and then we have x to be equal to 4 we have x equals to 4 therefore we have the x intercept x intercept to be 4 0 0